Hello viewers and welcome to my guide for today. It is how to gain favor in the Arceus house. Now the Arceus house is a very good house to start gaining reputation in as along the way you gain access to the Arceus spellbook, the ability, uh, you unlock the ability to teleport to Corin via the normal spellbook. Some points of interest are the library, where you start the Ascent of Arceus quest, Arceus the Architect, the Fairy Ring CIS, the Dark Altar with Tis nearby, the Dense Essence Mines, and the Auditor's House with the Lecterns. Now, the reason why this is a very good one is the Client of Corin, you don't need to waste the favor certificate on this because the library, it'll take one to two hours if you want to do it pure library. But I'll be telling you all the ways that you can do it. Now, I will be covering the things that you need for each part as I lay them out for you, as well as providing a list in the description below the video. And uh, the home world, while a good idea, I believe it's 310, there's not a whole lot of people here. So you're pretty much all going to be tending to either do this with your friends, with a clan, or solo. So because of that, I'm going to be using the Rune Light client. I'm going to be showing you at least on my side where all the books are to search so that it at least narrows down your search of where you should find them all. So if you are using the vanilla client, please feel free to take screenshots as we're going along so that you can keep them for reference so you can know where the books are. So I'm just gonna start wandering around the library here. Now, starting at 0%, you're spending most of your time as a bookworm helping the NPCs Sam, Professor Gracklebone, and Vilia find their books in this extensive multi-floored library. And there are a lot of bookshelves that you can check it. There's quite a few. Each time you find a book, it'll give you 2.5% favor. So what you do is, I've already talked to Professor Gracklebone and they'll tell you which book that you want. I want to show you where all the spots are before I start searching because some of these spots are going to disappear from my map. At any point you need help, on the top floor wandering around will be Biblia. She will point you in the direction of where your book can be. To be running around with all of this, you are going to want something that reduces your weight, such as the graceful outfit or boots of lightness. I don't have the full outfit, so I'm just using the boots of lightness with what pieces I have, as well as you're going to want either super energies, stamina potions, or the explorer's ring from the Lumbridge Diaries. This will help you restore your run as most of this is going to be running around and uh, even with 99 agility, you're not going to be able to run around for the full two hours. And now if you are not using client that will show you where all the books are like I am, you can also use mithril seeds and plant flowers where you find books. This will help you easily find them again. Also, it can be noted that you will be able to pick up other books along the way and keep them until such time as you need them, assuming you have the inventory space to do so. As you're doing this, please bear in mind that the book locations will change automatically every hour or two, and for any reason you're compelled to bank any of these books, you can bank multiple copies of the book at once using an imp in the box. While you're hunting for these, please keep an eye out for two particular books, Transportation Incantations, which upon reading it will teach you the Corn Castle Teleport, which needs two law runes, two soul runes, four water runes, five fire runes per cast, and you can be on it, that's on the normal spell book, as well as the Soul Journey book, which will start the Bury Your Soul mini quest, which will be helpful later if you choose to use ensouled heads in order to train prayer and maybe even get some Arceus favor. There, the picture it's showing right here, Transportation Incantations and Soul Journey. Those are the two books you need and I've already learned them. And my apologies if during this you noticed that my screen, the books change, it's because I got called away from the computer to do a few things and of course, lo and behold, that's when the books decided to change so I had to go and hunt them all over again. Fun, fun. Okay, once you've gotten your book, what you want to do is you want to return it to the person and you will get an experienced tome. It's called the Book of Arcane Knowledge and this will grant you with either magic or rune crafting experience. The experience goes dependent on your level. Now, with this, now we have to leave Gracklebone alone and we have to either, we have to go around and help the other two and then you just keep doing this circle around until you've helped them all. And then you can keep going around, doing it over and over. And now at 20% favor, you can pop off the Ascent of Arceus, which will give you a 10% favor certificate, as well as you can hit up Horphus. 
Now Horfus wants you to find dark manuscripts. Each time you turn one of these in, you'll get 5% favor, as well as a book of arcane knowledge as well. You can hold as many of these in your inventory as you want, but as you're finding books for the other guys, as if you pass by Horfus, make sure to turn them in because it's worthwhile. And the dark manuscripts are found in all the places that the rest of the books are found in. Now at 25% favor, this is where you're probably, the library though is probably going, where you're going to spend most of your time. At 25% favor, you can do what is probably one of the slowest methods of gaining favor, which is we're going to go to the mining area just east of the dark altar. Make sure to have 38 mining and crafting if you want to do this method and to be bringing a pickaxe and a chisel. So you may notice as I'm running around that there are yellow outlines on the floor. That is to signify that there are agility shortcuts. For the western one, you need 73 agility. For the northern one, you need 69. And for the eastern side, you need 52. So unfortunately, I don't have those because my agility sucks. So if by any chance you forget your chisel, there is one here. So what you're going to want to do is you want to chip some. This will mine you, so you just go ahead and talk to Claris, turn it in. Now the only use for the dense essence blocks before you get 100% is to turn them in for favor with Claris, because you will not be able to use a chisel on them until such time as you gain 100%, and that'll be on the dark essence blocks. And that's 0.1%, woohoo! So you can tell why this is a very inefficient way in order to gain reputation or favor. So the next way I'm going to be covering is in Sold Heads. That's at 60%. And you have to be on the Arceus Spellbook, which also is unlocked at 60% favor, and you can switch on or off of via Tiss Dark Altar. Now, sometimes while killing monsters, you will get a head drop from them, and it's called an Ensold Head. You'll be able to reanimate these if you do it with before you pick it up on the ground. If not, don't worry, you can still do it, just not. You'll have to go to the Dark Altar afterwards in order to do it. You can reanimate these if you are not taking damage during the same tick you attempt to reanimate them. But you can be in combat if you time it right. For certain ones, if you are on a Slayer task, it will actually count towards your slayer task. Now for this, you are gonna need combat gear, so I'm gonna go back to the bank and go get me some. But after the few minutes have passed, um, if you bank or if you purchase them from another player or the GE, which they are tradable by the way, and they are very cheap at the moment, you will get point anywhere from 0.5% favor to 1.5% favor. Now, it does give relatively low, but on the plus side, you can get anywhere from 130 to 1,560 prayer experience per one that you do. Depending on which head you're using, you're either going to need four body runes, four nature runes, four soul runes, and or two blood runes per cast. The magic level requirements go from level 3 to 93, also scaling with the type of head that you're using. I have an ensouled abyssal head, so I'm going to need four soul runes, a blood rune, and four nature runes. So at magic level 3, you have a goblin that gives 130 prayer experience. You need one nature and two bodies. For monkey, you need magic 7. That will give you 182 prayer experience. You need one nature, three body. For imp, it's level 12, two nature, three body. Minotaur, level 16, two nature, four body. Scorpion, level 19, one soul, one nature. For any kind of bear, that's level 21. You need a soul, a nature, and a body. For a unicorn, that's level 22. You need a soul, a nature, and two bodies. For a guard, level 26. A soul, two natures, two bodies. Chaos druids, that's level 30. You need a soul, two natures, three bodies. For a giant, that's 37. You need a soul, two natures, four bodies. For an ogre, that's 40, level 40. You need a soul, three natures, four bodies. For elves, that's level 43, you need two souls, two natures, two bodies. For trolls, that's level 46, you need two souls, two natures, three bodies. For horrors, jungle horrors and cave horrors, that's level 52. 
you need two souls, two natures, four bodies. For Calphites, that's level 57, you need two souls, three natures, four bodies. For Dagonos, that's level 62, you need three souls, three natures, four bodies. For Bloodfeld, it's level 65, you need two souls, one blood, two natures. For Tsars, that's level 69, you need two souls, one blood, three natures. For Demons, that's level 72, you're going to need two souls, one blood, four natures. For Aviancies, that's level 78. Magic, you're going to need three souls, one blood, and four natures. For Abyssals, that's going to be level 85, you're going to need four souls, one blood, four nature. And for Dragons, that'll be level 93, you need four souls, two blood, four for nature. Make sure if these creatures that you get the head off of require a slayer level to kill, you have that slayer level, unlike me who stupidly just bought whatever the heck I could get my hands on. Now here near the dark altar you're gonna see Tiss. You can right click spellbook and this gives you access to all the teleports as well as reanimations and the spellbook in general. Have to be next to the dark altar here and we reanimate the creature. Yeah, just as I thought, I don't have a high. <laughs> I bought a head that I don't have the Slayer level to use. Okay. Uh, upon slaying it, that's when you will get your prayer XP. Whoopsies. But well, that's generally how you do it. I guess it would help not to use magic either, as the fact you would have to switch back and forth between the spell books. Now, to make things a little easier, is if you do the soul, the barrier soul mini quest, you can get a soul bear head, and it will teleport any head drops directly to your bank using one charge per time it does so. The soul bear head can hold up to 1,000 charges, each requiring a blood and a soul rune. Now at 100%, you're able to go to the dense essence mine block and you're, can, you can bring those and use it on the dark altar here. This will turn it into a dark essence block and then you can use your chisel to make them into fragments. These are used in order to make blood and soul runes, needing 77 and 90 rune crafting respectively. You can also use them in the lectern on the auditor's house, and you can make magic tablets via the Arceus spellbook. Now, you can also talk to Tis here, and you can get something called an Arceus signet, which is needed to build the dark and occult altars in your player-owned house's achievement gallery, which you can then use to swap spellbooks within your home. Now, when you hit 100%, be sure if you haven't already to start at, you just have to start it. Start Architectural Alliance, and then you'll be able to talk to Arcus and lock in your favor so that when you go to another place, another house, and you start to gain favor there, you're not going to lose favor in here because it'll be locked in at 100%. That is permanent. But for anyone wanting to do this, highly recommend the library for the entire thing because it is by far the fastest, especially when you get it down or if you're using something like the Rune Light. It makes it a lot easier. So thank you for watching. I hope at least some part of my guide has helped you out in your quest to get 100% favor with Arceus. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it or if you found something was lacking from it, feel free to leave a comment in the section below for how I can improve my guides to make them better for you. And feel free to click the links in the description box for my Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and the few times a year I actually stream on Twitch. And until the next one, ciao.